Hello and welcome to this video tutorial on Signal S1000D for Word. So in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can write a procedural data module uh, within Word and export to S1000D XML. So what we're going to do, we're going to recreate this stem remove procedure which is just one of the standard procedures, uh, standard data modules that comes with the bike data set. Um, the reason I've chosen this one is just because it's fairly typical of um, procedural data modules. We've got uh, we've got a required condition in here, we've got a required person, some support equipment, safety condition, steps, reference, a graphic. Um, and we reference um, some support equipment in there as well. So I'm going to show you how we can do all of that within Word and immediately export to an S1000D data module. Okay, so here is Word. We've just got an empty document. Now when you install the Signal S1000D for Word add-in you get this extra menu item here. So we're going to click on Signal S1000D and the first thing I'm going to do is just open the DMRL, the data module requirement list, uh, to show you how I've kind of prepared for this. So the DMRL template that you're about to see comes with the tool, so all you need to do is populate it with your data modules. All I've done is I've added a couple of modules down here, um, which are the S1000D bike ones. So the one we just looked at, this stem remove procedures, um, I've added and the one underneath handlebar remove procedures because we'll be referencing this handlebar data module from our stem remove procedure. Okay, this will make a bit more sense in a minute what we use this for. Okay, the only other thing I want to do is just open the output folder and the output folder is where our Word document will be saved in a second when we create it and where our data modules will be saved as well. And just before I go, I just want to make sure that my graphics are going to start at 1, because it's my first data module, so my graphic sequential number I want to start at 1, um, so I'll just save that at 1 there. Okay, so let's first click on Create New S1000 DDM. What happens now is we get this dialog box pop up, asking us essentially what we want to call our new S1000D data module. Now we could populate this all by hand, tech name, info name and the data module code, but obviously it's much easier if we pick it from the DMRL. So when I click pick from DMRL, up pops this um, this grid and this is showing us exactly what we had in that Excel file. So in this case I want the stem remove procedure, so I'm going to click select, all my boxes are populated and I'm going to click procedural because this is a procedural module and I'm going to click OK. So what's happening now is a new Word document has been generated with um, uh, various pieces of information such as our tech, uh, tech name, info name, our data module code in the header and footer and you can see that we've got lots of kind of template text here as well or template content. So because this is template you can't delete any of this this is um, this is just here for us to, um, to to go in and kind of backfill if you like to, to fill in the um, fill in the blanks I suppose if you haven't got any required conditions you haven't got any required persons or support equipment or whatever else just leave them blank um, that's all you have to do or you can you know just minimize them to keep them out of your way if you want to do that but we have some required conditions, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start copying from the uh, from the PDF. I'm not going to pain you with my slow typing, so I'm just going to paste this straight in. And that's all that we need to do for our required conditions here. So required persons, let me just check the PDF. Okay, so we need a man A in here, so we've got some choices we can pick from and again these choices come across into every procedural template that you uh, you create. Uh, the, 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 it's generated by the tool I mean. Uh, category, we want to choose uh, a bike rider. Now obviously bike rider isn't in this list but we do have the ability just to type in bike rider so we don't have to choose from the, um, the, the list that's given to us we can kind of override it and we want an intermediate skill level and the estimated time is one and a half hours okay support equipment so the first thing we need to add is a set of allen wrenches and the manufacture code 
So our cage code part number is that and then there's one of those and for the unit of measure we drop the box down again and we'll choose EA. Okay now we want another item as well so we'll just click this box here and as you can see it kind of backfills from what was above so we don't want necessarily all of the same information but we can keep some of it we can keep the manufacture code and uh, we need to whoops excuse me will I copy from the PDF we can just change the part number here and we want one of those and again we'll choose EA okay we don't need any consumables we don't need any spares let's come down to our support equipment uh, sorry our safety section okay so we have a note to add in here so what I'm going to do, do now is I'm going to open the styles pane using this button here because we're going to need to use some styles here so for these tables up here it doesn't matter what style we use it they could have been anything but for the safety conditions area and the main procedural area the styles do make a difference because the styles directly uh, are directly associated with the XML elements that you're going to see in the data module that's produced so for example in safety conditions I want a note so I'm going to click on S1000 D note and I'm going to paste the note in okay that's all we need I'm going to come down now to the procedure and my first step is remove the handlebar so as you can see here it says replace this text with your first procedural step so I can just remove that just click back on step one to get my number back okay and paste remove the handlebar now I want to reference another data module here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to type refer to and I'm going to double click over here in the right hand side in this in this pane um, I'm going to double click on DM ref now that's going to open up this DM references dialog and again I can type the DMC that I want to reference manually or I can pick from the DMRL so again for simplicity's sake I'll pick from the DMRL and I'll pick handlebar remove procedures in goes my code click OK and there's the reference OK, step two, remove the stem. Hit enter, remove the stem. The third step, now the third step is actually a sub step, so when I click enter, I want this to be a 2.2, so I can click on step two. Uh, I'm sorry, I wanted that to be a step 2.1, so I click on step two. Right, remove the bolt from the center of the stem cap. Stem cap. And now we've got a graphic, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit enter twice, just get rid of that number, and I am going to use this graphic here. So in goes my graphic, I've just dragged that in, but of course you can just use the insert uh, menu item if you wish. Now the only other thing I need to do here is to add a figure title, and the figure title I'm looking for is remove the bolt. and now I need another step 2.2 so let's click enter and I'm going to go back to my step 2 so there's my step 2.2 loosen the stem clam bolt with A right so what we need to do here is we need to reference our set of allen wrenches up here so what I'm going to do is I am going to double click on resources ref and that is going to show me what I have available to me to reference so there's my set of allen wrenches and there's the work stand so as it happens I just need this one here now you see the the ID here it's giving it this ID of support equi now the prefix that it gives it is customizable to your project your project may use some other form of prefixes for reference IDs and you can change that within the uh, the settings but we'll stick with the default okay so in goes my reference and obviously these references that you're seeing here and DM references that we saw here these will be resolved to the correct XML elements S1000D elements when we generate the data module so let's have another step and one more step to go Oops word doing its silly things that it does there we go and there we have it we have our data module drafted so there are no um, 
no close up steps to do so we just leave that blank so I could click generate S1000D now and that would generate my data module but for the sake of demonstration what I'm going to do is just assume for a second that we perhaps wanted to reference this graphic so let us just do that so refer to and I'm going to go figure F figure number one click OK and that will automatically generate our uh, internal reference I'm now also going to assume for a second that we want to reference this step so to do that I'm going to double click the step ref marker and that adds this ref1 marker that you see over here so that gives us an area to reference now now let's assume we wanted to reference that step from this step I would say something like refer to and then I can use the step ref function here so when I double click on step ref we get this dialog box appear and here's the paragraph that I want to reference remove the stem it's a reference ID 1 click select and in that reference goes easy as that okay so let's generate our data module so when I click generate S1000D what will happen is a validator will run to make sure that everything is uh, is as it should be and that our our S1000D XML is going to be valid so let's generate S1000D I'm going to click cancel here just so I can drag the window across uh, just so we can see oops excuse me it's gone full width on my screen I didn't want to do that let's bring back that validation window just so we can see okay so as you can see it runs a few checks it validates the order of the safety conditions it does various other pieces of validation it's counted zero tables in the data module but it's has counted a graphic what it will do it will extract that graphic and assign it an ICN number okay so this time we'll just close this and we'll run it this time so click OK to build the data modules okay and again I'll just drag my window back across and as we can see this time it successfully validated it started building adding the note doing a few other um, a few other uh, things in the background and it's finished generating our data module and there's our data module code okay so let's have a look at where it's put that so if I click on the signal s 1000 d menu click on open output folder and there is our word document that we're working there is our data module and there is our graphic so we can open this now let's open the data module okay so here's our stem remove procedure here's our data module code here is our required persons, our man A, person category, bike rider with the skill level of O2. You can see it's automatically generated the correct skill level for us. Here is our support equipment. So we've got um, a set of Allen wrenches, work stand, all correctly nested uh, and grouped support equipment elements. Here's our safety requirements. Here is our procedural step with our external reference to the data module code. Uh, here's our step reference. If you remember, we, we created a step reference back to this particular step. Here's our internal reference to our graphic. There's a graphic. There's our ICN number. Here's our internal reference to the support equipment. And there's our reference to our step. Okay. All correctly marked up. It really is as simple as that. Write a, data mod write a data module in Word and export as S1000D. Thanks very much. Cheers. Bye-bye.